What do all of these have in common? Let's find out. Hello, I'm Rosie Hardy. This is Rosie Hardy Gardening. I have a collection of different flowers here and they are all from one family, the Asteraceae. Now, some of them look like daisies because that's the majority of the plants are all daisies. But some of these just look slightly different, but they are still within the same family. And that is because their structure of their flower is the same, even though they don't all look like daisies. Now, daisies are one of those flowers that everybody as a youngster or what have you will draw a daisy as a flower. It seems quite simple. It has petals, it has a big yellow center there, that's it. So it looks like this. You have this wonderful big daisy. That is it. But it's not a simple flower. It is made up of a very complex matter. So basically all that you see on this flower looking like one flower is actually multiple flowers within there. When you cut a daisy up and in half, you can see what you get. You get these petals out the side here and you get all the yellow in the middle there. And that it is this cross section here. But the ones which have got the petal on are actually an individual flower in their own right. So they've got their own stigma, their own stamens, they can produce their own seed. And this single long petal here is actually fused petals. So it is actually a fused petals and that makes what's called the ray floret, which all these daisies have. So all of these are individual flowers in their own right. And then the tiny little pieces, which are the ones which make up the disc, those are disc florets. And they've got their own flower, again, their own stigma, their own stamen, and they can produce their own seed. This is why Asteraceae produce so much seed, because there are multiple flowers within every single bloom. So when you look at something and you look at this side piece here, if you were to take that one piece off like that, that is a flower in its own right. Then if you look at these individual little pieces like that little yellow one there, again, it is another flower. So they make this complex, but what is seemingly a simple flower, a daisy, but they're not all daisies. So in here we have got aster, true aster, astromelis. We have got coreopsis, we've got coreopsis moonbeam, we've got coreopsis schnittgold, we've got two echinaceas here, a uh, lovely bright pink one there and a lovely orange one, that's tequila sunrise, that one's sensation pink. We have an origeran in here. We have a galardia. Now those are all the ones, and the big white one here, that's a leucanthemum. Those are all the ones which look like daisies. And that is because at this time of the year, midsummer going on into autumn, the Asteraceae is taking over. It's becoming the daisy time on in the garden. But there are other plants which are related, and that is the Achillea, the Anaphilis, the Liatris, and another Achillea here. And they all make up this big Asteraceae family. And so it's quite difficult when you're going out and looking at this, because for people who are the general public, looking at something like a Liatris there, and looking at that daisy like that, how on earth are they related? And it's all to do with the actual complex way that the flower is made up in there, in that there are disc florets and there are ray florets all in here. So you will get diversity within a family and it can be quite difficult to understand that they are actually the same thing. The Anaphilus, for instance, here, this is a little bit easier because when you look into each individual flower, you go, oh yeah, that that is a daisy. It's got a yellow center. It's got uh, petals on the outside. But again, it's Asteraceae because it's very complex in the way that it is made. 
Then the same with this, this Achillea tarmica. A little bit easier to think, oh yes, Asteraceae, central disc, florets out the side here. That looks more like a daisy, just a slightly different form. Whereas this Achillea milfolium, when it is the flat head, it's a little bit more difficult to understand that that is an asteroid until you look into it. And especially when it starts to go over, it's much easier to see because you can then look into the individual flowers that are there. There are the floret outer ones and then the center ones in there as well. So you just have to look at the detail. And that's what it's all about when you're looking at the plants. It's looking at the detail. So the Asteraceae or the daisy family, they are all different. And when you look into them, you can see that they really are all related. So let's go through it again. We've got Liatris, Anaphilus, Aster, Coreopsis, Echinacea, Erigeron, Echinacea, Coreopsis, Achillea, Gallardia, Achillea and Leucanthemum. And that is just a small number that I could have possibly done. But look at the range of colours that there are in here and the range of places that these plants can grow. It is an incredible family and they are really good garden worthy plants. They are plants that can be flowering in the spring right the way through the summer. And there are a really huge number of them that flower right the way through late summer into autumn. Once you get into the Michaelmas daisies and all of that lot. And those are the ones that most people remember and they see. But there is a huge range of Asteraceae. They are fabulous plants. If you find it very difficult to understand that this and this are related, then take a closer look at what the flowers are made from, how they are built up, doing a little bit of dissection and cutting a flower in half to actually see what it is made up from is one of the best ways of doing it. So this is half a daisy here and this will show you that you've got your little florets here and these are all the individual flowers on there and even these pieces are individual flowers as well. So just have a closer look at your flowers and you'll be able to work out what is um, an actual daisy and what, although it doesn't look like a daisy per se, something like the Achillea, if you were to cut that flower in half, you would see it's just a small one of these. The same with this, the Liatris, the Liatris cobalt. If you were to take one of these individual pieces of flower, such as this, we take one out like so, you will see when you look into it, it has got individual flowers here making up the whole thing. So it is the same as this daisy. It's just a different site, sort of shape. And that's where we have to understand this is how we work out what families plants go into. That was just a very quick run through of what Asteraceae and the daisy family is like. There are lots of other varieties out there, but they are a very important garden worthy plant. Thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe to the channel. If you want to watch another video of mine, YouTube thinks this one is perfect for you.